Hey guys, and welcome back to another More With Moros video. Today's video is going to be an ultimate clean and organize with me. So what I mean by that is anywhere from deep cleaning our whole entire couch all the way to organizing our linen closet, it is going to be in this video. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope it gives you guys some cleaning motivation. That's the only way to get that high. So the first thing on our to-do list is to deep clean the couch. We're using a Bissell Revolution. I think that's what it's called. I actually get a lot of questions about this, so I'll try to leave a link down below for you guys. And I didn't want to hold back and hide what our couch really looks like. This is what our cushions really look like. This is what it's like with kids. Water stains. I think even one of those stains was from slime. That's why I'm so thankful for this carpet cleaner because it has pretty much saved our couch, but usually Frank is the one to deep clean the couch. I wanted him to show me, cause I remember one time or the last time that he cleaned it, he did like a really cool, like satisfying pattern on it. So I wanted him to show me how to do that before I got started. Cause this is the first time that I have cleaned it. And I was like worried that I was gonna mess it up. So we're just using a mixture of water and like a Bissell solution to clean the couch, like a deep clean uh, solution. And I did wanna mention also that I ended up using Folex, which is my favorite stain remover spray. If you guys have like some carpet stains or a poultry stain, a poultry, upholstery stains. Um, pretty much any kind of stain, Folex will get it out. So you guys will see in the time lapse me spraying the couch. Uh, that is what I'm using. I love that stuff so, so much, especially with kids. I'm constantly using it. I think I even used it on the rug too to get a few stains out. So I'll also leave that down below for you guys. It's like one of those must haves that I have to have in the house. And I also included a clip of showing you guys how the water looked after cleaning the couch. I wanted to be completely transparent with you guys with first of all, how dirty our couch can get, even though it may not look like it, but you know, throw kids and everything else into the mix and it gets pretty dirty. And then um, I also wanted to show you how awesome this carpet cleaner is and how good it is at getting out stains. You share your love so easily Still I'm insecure I hear all the things you don't say So I can be sure But here we go again, go again Do my best to pretend, to pretend Yeah, here we go again, go again Do my best to pretend, to pretend have to say my most common comment that I get about my decor choices is how do I keep everything white and clean and I guess how do I just keep everything just white in general especially with kids and I've learned because I do like my light colors I like my natural grays and my whites I've kind of learned 
just to have those things, but like work around it, if that makes sense. Like, for example, of course the carpet cleaner comes in handy. I told you guys about Folex. You just learn to, you just learn ways around cleaning it and what works for you and what products work for you. And for us to be able to have this white rug, which gets very dirty, again, I'll show you guys at the end how dirty it was. Um, so to be able to have these things, you do obviously have to put more care and love into it and more cleaning, which I know is a hassle, but I don't mind doing it because I genuinely love my decor choices. So that is honestly my secret. There's no like one secret product. It's just finding ways around it and being able to learn different ways on how to clean, you know, things like your carpet, your couch things like that. I think that's why I wanted to be so transparent with you guys and show you, you know, how dirty our couch was, how dirty our carpet is. I even threw in a before and after that you guys will hear or see in a second. Um, I wanted to, you know, be transparent in the sense that, you know, even though we have lighter colors in our house, that they get just as dirty as anybody else's house. We are definitely no exception when it comes to those things. So another thing on my to-do list was to go through all of the kids' shoes. You know, they have so many shoes, like multiple pair of sneakers, multiple pair of flip-flops, sandals, you name it. And I wanted to go through them and pick out like what was damaged, like what can't be worn anymore, things that have holes or that they're worn down. And then I wanted to go through the shoes that didn't fit them anymore. Um, most of Harlow's old shoes, I'm gonna save for Scarlet. So I kind of put those aside. I made a pile of like what to keep in the basket, what to get rid of and what to save for the future. Um, and you guys, this is not the only shoes that they have. They also have shoes in another closet as well. I would love to be able just to narrow it down to where they have one pair of sneakers, one pair of sandals, and like one pair of flip flops or boots and that's it. But at the same time, I also have three girls and I am a sucker for cute shoes and sneakers and flip flops and sandals. I'm such a sucker for it all. So I end up, it's partially my fault. I'm like enabling this. <laughs> I didn't even want to show you guys this because of how many shoes the kids have. Um, but I really did want to go through them so I could also put away the ones for Scarlett to wear as well because there were so many shoes as I was going through this that Harlow barely wore. So I definitely wanted to make sure that we can at least be able to get some more wear out of them. So I wanna say every few months, I like to sanitize Scarlett's bottles. Now I used to not do this with any of the kids. Like I didn't used to sanitize bottles this much. I would just do it one time and that would be it. I don't know if that's like how you're supposed to do it or you're supposed to sanitize them more. Um, but the formula that Scarlett's on, it has such a strong smell. I don't know how to explain it. Like it, it doesn't bother me. A lot of people told me that it, it stinks to them. It doesn't bother me, but it is a very, very strong smell. And it's, it makes the bottles smell like the formula even after you wash them, wash them. So I like to do this maybe every few months. I don't like to do it too much, um, but just to kind of sanitize them and get rid of any buildup, milk buildup. Um, and then I moved on to my office area. This has become like the area since the kids have been out of school and well, we're still doing school. We're doing e-learning at home, but since they've been at home and doing school, this has kind of been like the gathering area where the kids like to do their work, where I'm doing my work. And if I'm over here, Scarlett's definitely gonna be over here. Um, so this part of the house has officially become like the throw it all 
room of the house just put everything in there so i definitely wanted to go in there and clean it up straighten it up because at this point it's like a school room slash office slash kind of like a play area for the kids and i also forgot to mention that i let the bottles only boil for five minutes i would say that's a good time usually you don't want to have them boil longer than that Obviously you wanna use like something like tongs or something to be able to take all of the bottle parts out and I just usually put them on a washcloth or a rag or like a drying rack and just a clean one of course and um, just lay them out to dry. And I just have to mention my vacuum because I have to give credit to this thing that vacuums and mops the same time. I love my Robo Rock. I use it every single day. This video is not sponsored by them. I have worked with them and I genuinely love their vacuums. Another thing that I wanted to be completely transparent with you guys about is how much stuff is accumulated on our stairs throughout the day. Honestly, sometimes some of those things stay on the stairs for at least like two, three days, maybe even a week. I know that's really bad to say, but let me know if you guys have stairs and you also end up doing the same thing. So now I am moving on to tidying up our master. I had some laundry to do. You guys can see all the junk back there on the dresser and I had stuff all in my closet. To be completely honest though, this is what our room looks like on a good day. Usually there's clothes all over the floor, there's random stuff all over the floor. So this is actually, we're actually doing good. This actually looks good for once. <laughs> So one thing that we desperately needed to do in our house was to clean our stairs. You guys can see the white part of the stairs. That part, I wish I would have showed you guys it before, that part had so much built up nastiness on it, like where if kids have dropped stuff or we spilled something. Actually that morning I had dropped a bottle of ketchup, so I think that's kind of what motivated me to clean the stairs. I had dropped it by the fridge and it exploded loaded everywhere all over the stairs and as you can see Frank is helping me out with cleaning the stairs but yeah this this definitely needed to happen because it was it was pretty pretty disgusting actually here in a second I'll show you guys what our rags ended up looking like because of how dirty our stairs was I think this is like an expose our house video because I'm just telling you guys every, all of our secrets and all of our really nasty parts of our house
like I told you guys, I wanted to tackle all the nitty gritty in this video. Another huge task was our junk drawer. We let this drawer get so, so bad and it doesn't help that it's such a huge drawer too. So we just end up throwing everything in there. My biggest tip when it comes to organizing anything, anything, no matter what it is, is taking everything out first just taking it all out and then organizing it as you put it back so oh, i had to show you guys this cute polaroid of me and frank when we first met so first thing to do is just take everything out of course wipe down the drawer just go through everything that we don't need sort through all the papers we kind of just throw all of our mail in there too and just go through just junk <laughs> just junk that's why it's a junk drawer because half the stuff in there is just junk and we ended up throwing away so much stuff actually i probably should get like some more clear bins like that or some other organization bins I probably will eventually that's basically me just saying a way that we can organize organize our junk and it's even gotten so bad that we have like half of a second drawer of junk that we had to go through so we just we had so much to throw away and um, that's actually just supposed to be for like straws and like coffee things but as you can see the most random random stuff in there doesn't matter if it's true I've got a feeling love will give us what we like The world is waiting up The world is waiting half a step beyond So this was the biggest task of them all is going through our linen closet because you see things are just piled and piled on top of each other i found these metal bins at target i'll leave some links down below for you guys to help me organize the linen closet and half of the stuff in there we don't even use or need i realized that as i was going through everything so like i said with the junk drawer the number one or the first thing to do when organizing anything is just go ahead and take everything out the next step is to figure out what you need what you don't need Third step is how are you going to organize it? What are you going to put everything in and where are you going to put it? So I told myself that I am getting rid of everything. I try to have a rule. If I haven't used or thought about this item for like half a year, six months, I don't need it. Like that has saved me so much with hoarding things. I have curtains in there from like three, four years ago. I can't even use them because they're not even the right length for our house. So I was like, okay, I just need to get rid of those take everything out and then start from there so that's what i did i started putting the bins in there knew or went through everything that i knew i wanted to keep and go through everything we have so much stuff in there that's another place like a throw it all kind of place because we have humidifiers medicine stuff i went through stuff that was expired or that we just don't need but like i said this was probably the most time consuming out of everything because of how much stuff you guys saw how much stuff I was able to fit in that one closet. Everything that went wrong Never said goodbye, think I broke your trust Should've known this all along Don't wanna be the one that you're trying to avoid I'm feeling so confused Why did I act so annoyed? Cause I Don't wanna be strangers, baby The next time when we meet And oh It dawned on me Standing on the ball
and here's a random food clip <laughs> I wanted to show you guys um, I just made this today it was chicken tacos with taco seasoning ranch and a jar of salsa that was it so easy and so delicious and of course there wouldn't be a cleaning video without some kind of kitchen time lapse so I wanted to show you guys the before of our kitchen and that is going to be it for today's ultimate clean and organize with me I definitely wanted to accomplish more organizing and I want to know my fellow cleaners out there how do you do it like how do you do it in one day I know I'm always getting the question but questions but I'm not able to do everything in one day as you guys saw I had to break this day up into three days of cleaning like, I just I can't do it like, I can't do it all in one day um, but there's definitely more cleaning and organization videos to come because I definitely wanted to tackle some more things in the house I just didn't get a chance to do it. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it gave you guys some motivation and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys